Hello there, my name is Polish Links. Welcome back to Raising Angels Reborn. Well, it's been a crazy day. My laptop died. I thought it was power supply. I bought a new one. It didn't work. The old one started to work. And laptop is alive again. Luckily. Tomorrow I have to give the new power supply back and get my money back. Well, but let's go with the game. The mindless drivel coming out of my mouth is only stalling the onset of fear. Some young students notes on a curse I once thought is going to solve this. Don't fear, not. We'll get through this, you'll find the clues and I will transform into a towering green dragon. Of course, sorry. I'm showing you how a warrior of the digital era fights. Really, Raleigh, Natalie, you can't appear weak. I flip through the pictures next. Nothing jumps out at me. The kid couldn't have been a year over 16. Where he is now? I can only assume the worst. I see a picture of tall male and plump female, both with grey hair. Parents? They're probably at home, wondering how their son is doing on his adventures in the galaxy. Um, does she worry about me? If that was still around, how oh, no, he would. He was other ones that I become a professor and teach history, not travel the universe. This is why we fight. Yeah, you might not believe it, but Sol always used to tell me that he joined the force so kids didn't have to feel unsafe in our turbulent age. Really? Why couldn't he had, have said that? Does Sol seem like the time to admit something so weak and heartfelt? heartfelt? Having compassion isn't a weakness. It is when you put yourself in danger every day of the week. <sighs> I flip past the picture, unable to dwell on it any longer. It isn't until the very last set of pictures that I finally find something of interest. Oh, transfer me that one! Transfer me that one! A towering limestone tablet with delicate inscriptions carved on it. I don't remember seeing this at the research site. A giant rock would have stuck out. The pictures come in a variety of angles. There are no notes associated with them, but I can only assume that the person who took those was excited. This rock was something important. Zuri, do you understand these inscriptions? I've never seen anything like this before. Ignat Falasoretoimskna. You can read it. Nope, I'm just saying random things to sound smart. Not really sarcastic or just trying to upset me. Sorry. I really don't have any clue what these things are. Do not ever choke like that again. Sorry, Major. I enjoy a good laugh, but not in the heat of things. Computer, cross-check this with my cryptography database. I want to know what language this is. Ancient. Yes, Major. Procure cross-checking with internal database before sending to external lights. Estimate response time from SI. T sector free linguistic database is 12 hours. Oh my goodness. 12 hours? Welcome to the joys of interstellar communications. We won't even be able to get a connection when we are in shift. I guess command is gonna have to wait a day. Which reminds me. Lieutenant Star, this major Puchillion private. If you want to talk to me, do it in person. To pressing. Could you distinguish what type of shuttles left the shift rails? Even if I could, do you know how many different types of ships are out there? Billions! 3822 known types of craft seen in use, but I really just need to know if you can determine the size of ships. No, they are all the same stupid size, I just picked a random paths or do you suddenly have one for me to choose? No, lieutenants, I don't have any updated roads for you, we just need to be on our guard. One of those escaping shuttles is carrying precious cargo. So, you do have something? Not until I can confirm a few things. Put it out. Hey, wait! Didn't you hear the out part of my call? Stuff you want, you backed up! We're going to make this shift in five minutes. Roger, out. Yeah, I forgot about the jump. Like I said before, you're not quite a warrior yet. I'm going to buckle myself down in my bank and this and think this over. Wake me up in a few hours, please. Good night and good dreams. Nope, 
I don't want dreams, I want answers. Let it simmer for a while and the answer will come to you. Hopefully. Alright, um, I can only hope that some answers to this mystery script will be delivered soon, that we are not too late before the shot does disappear on us. Oh. Natalie, are you awake? No, she's sleeping. She is sleeping. Can't you see? Really, can't you see? Because I can't. But I know she is. Ah! This Okay, disconnect this, connect this, and it takes some time, sorry about that. I should have done this before recording, but well... I'm dumb. Natalia, are you awake? Okay, uh, I am not. What's wrong, Faye? Whoa, I can see why they paired up the Sunshine Twins. <laughs> so you wanted me to come and wake you up? She said something about your data pad beeping. Oh, did my message come in? You can afford a few moments to grab a bite to eat with me, can't you? I wanted to talk to you about the calm. Even if Matt is invited. Apologize. Huh? For what? Apologize to Fai. She's not a Matt. You don't understand a thing. I understand that I'm not tolerating that sort of attitude even from you, so. It's okay, Natalie. So doesn't mean it. You know, I mean every word of it. You sneaky, despicable dog. Sol! Sol, get back here! All I hear is the clink of boots get faint as he storms away. I'm sorry about that. I'm also sorry that I have to keep apologizing for him. Fai's fluffy tail hangs limp and those crystal blue eyes of her remain dim. But she waves my apology away with a brush. Some things never change. Some things should change. I don't want to start a fight between friends. They aren't a very uh, good friend if you don't know something about them that makes you angry. Please don't. He's been getting better on us. Our relationship is a special case. That does make it better. You must. You seem like a nice Lupid, he shouldn't be so mean to you, you or Tsuri or Amonzi or anyone else on this ship. Slowly, <clears throat> that soft, slick tail of her begins to wag once more. Thanks, but there are some things you don't know. Then again, there are some things I don't know either. Alright, you are right, there are things I don't know. Want to come with me to find out what Zuri wants? We can get some food afterward. <clears throat> And I can get the real story behind why Soul seems to hate you more than the others. Brilliant, Natalie. Brilliant. Sure. <clears throat> Brilliant. Hi, Zuri. I'm back. Huh? Nobody's here? Something is wrong. Do you hear that? It's all crinkly sounding. Nope, but I smell it. That smoldering electronic smell. It's just like when my radars used to be overheat. But where is it coming from? I don't see anything from my lab equipment or any of the testing processors, but this room is pressurized and sealed to prevent potential contamination. It has to come from here. My eyes scan the room, but nothing jumps out at me. What the hell could have? I step further into the room and hear the noise Faye was talking about. It sounds like boots stepping on so some sort of glass. Oh! I look down and I am rewarded by the sight of the obvious answer to who was stepping on glass. Shards of sparkling glass are scattered around on the floor. Where did they? It takes all of my self-constraint not to scream in primal rage when I trace the glass to its origins. My diet pad, all of those hours, all of the data, my heroes. A ceremony honoring the dead warriors of over a dozen games. That is what I must do after I get this cleaned up. Heroes who will never see their adventures completed. I can't even begin to imagine the punishment that awaits Zuri when I find her. This sort of crime is unforgivable. She couldn't even be bothered to admit she broke my stuff. It looks like someone stabbed your diet apart with some sort of cone-shaped object. No, Faye. They knocked it to the ground and stepped on it. The damage is obvious. I'm not talking about that one. What? I only own one. 
with the utmost care she lifts up my precious precious glue. No, not the precious animal. The thin polymer sheeting has been defiled with a large hole gouged in the middle. I yank my only lifeline out of Captain Moonfollow's hands. No, no, no! This couldn't happen. I jump the power button again and again, but the shattered screen remains as dark as my dreams. What beast could have done this? It wasn't like that when I left, I promise! <clears throat> I hadn't uploaded it to command yet. All gone. Everything. I can feel myself deflating like a punctured balloon. Chasing the shuttles was shot in the dark. This, my hope. And watch where you put those talons of yours. You smash a couple of bottles and decide that I was going to inspect. Most people only save it. They can trust me to screw things up. Captain Moonfollow, what would you say could have caused that hole? I don't know, a spike maybe? Would you say it is about the same size as the spikes on Suri's wings? Maybe? I don't know what my heart feels like now. It's as empty as a void, but the heat of unbridled rage burns strong on it. In it. Is that Suri? I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. I don't know what I'm yelling. It's a painful hole of someone who has just lost their everything. No words will be able to explain my loss of precious information to command. No words can replace my only lead, and no words can make sense of the pain in my heart. My sweet major, whatever is wrong. I don't trust myself to speak, I can only raise my shattered dreams up. The research comp data, but what happened to it? Tsuri. You don't know? Are you saying you did it? No, I did it? Sol and Commander Razona sprinted. Razona's composure is strong and uncompromising. But so, he's breathing hard and there is an almost maniacal light in his eyes. Natalie, are you right? Calm down, Major Puchil. Puchil, why are you screaming like a bunch on my ship? Look, I don't give two craps about some stupid drink that. Are you right? Did she hurt you? What does it matter? It's gone. The spike went right through the center drive unit. There's no way you can recover anything. If you want me to give her a look. I want to shut the hell up. Hey, I want you to shut the hell up, not there are more things to find out there. Are you alright? I'm physically fine. I came as fast as I could. What's wrong? Sorry. It seems odd that our security officer would take so long to respond to an emergency. What? This is my downtime. You decided to go off shift right after this? This? What this? Don't lie to me. Really? I don't know what you are yelling at me about. This! I show the broken. <clears throat> I feel so terrible that I will have to shout at her. But well, maybe it was her. I show the broken pot under her nose and watch those green eyes widen in terror. Clearly frightened that I knew of her full death. Of her full deed. Lily, oh my. Why are you looking at me? You don't think that I did this, do you? Did Fei leave before you? Yeah, Fei left. Then I left. It was fine before I left. I swear upon the winds I do. You were the only person here. You were the only person who could have done this. I'm afraid the hole caused by whatever damage the pond marks your spike. Size. I know your measurements. You have spiked wings too. Mine are much too big to have caused this. For your next question, I was with Kylie trying to fix the bathroom. Then there is my personal data pad. Crushed. It could have just fallen. There's a boot print on it, a large one. One like yours. So has big feet. Maybe he came in here and tried to frame me. You all know he doesn't like me or non-humans. <coughs> I glance at Sol. Out of the sea of hostile faces, he is, is the only one that is calm and collected. I figured he would be the most upset person this incident confirming his anger over Tsuri. <coughs> but he's not. If anything, he looks contemplative. It's not sorry. The major, <clears throat> the major was with me during the time in question. You would do well not to cloud our investigation with bias and pity insults. You have a history of stepping on things, don't you? Who else could it have been but you? Stop lying to me. Stop lying to all of us. You broke both of them by accident, I'm sure, but you did it. This was my only clue to really, my only hope, and you smashed it. You destroyed them both and you can't even find the courage to admit it. What sort of order does that? Please, not. 
on my honor as a warrior. I swear before the winds that I didn't do it. You have to believe me. She's pleading, pleading with me, her tone as hard as, and weak as mine. My anger is draining out as it begins to vent from my heart. She was the only person who stuck with me during the duel time. I don't want to think she did it, but the facts are the facts. Suri was the only one who could have done it. <sighs> Should I trust her? Suri wouldn't lie to me. I've just gotten to know her, but I can feel in my heart that Suri wouldn't lie to me. I have to have faith in my crew. I need to start considering more than just damning facts. There's more here. There has to be. I've let my fear take over my mind. My emotions are swirling around like a vortex. I'm not thinking straight. Oh, okay, sorry. I believe you. What? Major Pushy, you're allowing your emotions to cloud your judgment. Uh, excuse me. The evidence you have submitted is the proof I need. You done, sorry. You had the means, the history of clumsiness and the opportunity. But that you continue to deny your guilt is conduct and becoming an officer. Quite appalling. Until I can determine what your punishment should be, you are hereby districted at your quarters. My slave or Major Hackett will escort you for food at designated periods of the day. Confined? I will determine what sort of punishment this act of negligence warrants at a later time. Captain Montflow, please inform John Star that she will be rooming with you on an alternate sleep cycle. Yeah, ma'am. Major Pochil, report to me the damage after you do a less emotional assessment. I will comply. And you are coming with me back to your quarters. I didn't do it. Okay. Keeping your mouth shut and not making your situation worse would be wise. But I didn't do it. You didn't. I did. Why won't you believe me? If you had proven yourself more trustworthy in the past, it wouldn't have had to end this way. If you excuse me, my dear. So. You haven't said anything this whole time. I was pondering the mysteries of the universe. Tell me, Natalie, why do you think Zuri is innocent? The evidence is against her. Let's find out what she thinks in the next episode. See you then. Bye.